Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Chambers. Do you see that word? We were studying about these before we had to go on break. Anybody know what that word says? Let's look at the letters. Let's spell it. R O B O T. Robot. Yeah, we were studying about robots. Does anybody remember what another word for robot is? B-O-T, bot. That's another word for robot. And remember, we were looking at our books to find out more important information about how robots work and what robots can do. Today I'm going to read a book that we haven't had a chance to read in class yet. The name of this book is called Doug Unplugs on the Farm. Dan Yaccarino made the words and Dan Yaccarino made the pictures. And on the front we see there's a horse, an apple, and a robot. And the robot is feeding the horse an apple. Let's find out what happens in the book. is Doug. He's a robot. Doug and his parents are going to visit the Grand Bots. Everyone plug in, said Dad. We'll be driving through farm country, said Mom. You can learn all about farms on the way. Doug's parents wanted him to be the smartest robot ever. Doug learned bushels of facts about farm things. A baby pig is called a piglet. Horses can pull plows. Cows need to be milked every day. Chickens lay eggs. Apples grow on trees. Sheep tend to follow each other. He was just learning about how sheep dogs can herd sheep when suddenly, what happened? A whole flock of sheep ran into the road and their car went into a ditch. And worse, the whole family came unplugged. Oh dear, said dad. Oh my, said mom. Oh boy, said Doug. Look at those sheep running everywhere. Let's see what happens. Doug could see the farm girl needed help. Look at that farm girl. She's running after that sheep. Oh my goodness. And he made like a sheep dog and together they rounded up those sheep. It's a lot of sheep there. Thank you, said the farm girl. Want to help with the, the rest of my chores, she asked. Doug did. Don't go far, said his mom. So off Doug went to help the farm girl with the rest of her chores. She had some more work she needed to do. Doug knew that milk came from cows, but he actually got to milk one. And he learned that a cow's tongue felt rough. They got hay from the barn, prickly, and picked apples from a tree, delicious. The horse thought both the hay and the apples were delicious. He scattered corn for the ducks and Doug learned the baby, that baby ducks like to follow him. 
the ducks following me. The farm girl fetched water from a deep, dark well, and Doug learned how thirsty and smelly pigs can be. When he gathered eggs from the hen house, Doug learned that roosters can be bossy. The rooster even chased the cat onto the roof of the barn. Luckily, Doug could fly up to get her. Doug could see for miles from the top of the barn. He could see his parents and that their car was still stuck in a ditch. He could also see a tractor. Doug knew that tractors pulled heavy things. Maybe it could pull that car out of the ditch. Dang, the tractor was out of gas. But Doug had another idea. Oh, I wonder what Doug's idea is. This is what he's thinking about. Man, it's a little machine there pulling on a rope with a horse. Let's see what happens. A horse, of course. The horse had their car back on the road in no time. Oh, ooh, I know that's a good feeling now. Doug and his parents thanked the farm girl and her horse and got back in their car. Everyone plug in, said Dad. But Doug stayed unplugged. He thought about all the ways he'd helped out on the farm and all the stories he'd have for his grandparents. Remember Doug picked apples, herded the sheep, picked eggs from the hens, had the horse pull the car out of the ditch, and that pigs are get thirsty and they're pretty smelly. Learned a lot. I picked it myself, Doug told them, and they thought he was the smartest little robot ever. The end. And here's Doug the robot herding another sheep on the back of the book. And remember, when we get back to school, we will still continue to study R-O-B-O-T, robots. Bye-bye, everyone. Stay well.